Alright, this is in response to our research and assignments with um, audio, written, and video oral history. Um, in chapter 3 of the book, it said that the most literal translation is hardly ever the best. And um, I think that I agree with that statement. And I also think that most written accounts of history are literal. And um, it was just comparing oral history with art criticism. And um, I think that when things allow for creativity and interpretation that they're more interesting and effective. So with that said, I think that video history or video oral history was the most effective. Um, just watching those videos you can really get a feel for the effect that events have on the people involved and um, when you're reading you're really up to your own interpretation and you really um, don't you don't have anything to base it on. Like you're really just looking into the facts instead of thinking of the people involved. And uh, I think everyone has a different perspective, so to lay history out with just facts is kind of, um, you know, a disservice to what actually happened. Um, they talked about the regularity um, is being the norm in writing and reading while um, changes are the norm in speech. So uh, I just think that speech and video and audio have more to offer and um, than uh, just the plain facts in black and white. Um, I also found that audio and video were more captivating and they were less narrative than a written account would be. Um, it says that oral history tells us less about the events and more about their meaning, which I thought was a good point. Uh, it really just puts a more personal um, aspect on it all, on the events, instead of just listing out the statistics. So that's something you don't really get from a book. I mean, you could read memoirs and things, but um, as far as history books go, uh, I'd rather have the video. So that's my opinion.